Hey everybody, this is Tobias Truman from Discount Mylar Bags. Here on this 105 degree Sunday here in Nashville, Tennessee, we decided to do a little video indoors today. Uh, my wife and I have been selling Mylar bags for a couple of years, and over that time we've learned some alternate things that you can do with Mylar bags to make your life a little easier, or if you need to do something in a pinch and don't have the quote unquote perfect materials. Um, we're going to show you two different examples today. Uh, we'll have some more in some future videos. I'm going to do the first one on using Mylar as a shipping container. My wife's going to do the next one on Mylar as a cold pack. So first thing I want to say is, you know, if, if you didn't know, the USPS will ship anything with a uh, shipping label on it. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. You can ship a bucket, you can ship, you know, random packaging and you can actually ship stuff in a Mylar bag. So on occasion, I will do so. Um, the benefit of a Mylar bag versus a bubble mailer is the fact that, you know, a Mylar bag will be, you know, maybe a quarter of an ounce where a bubble mailer might be two ounces. So it can be a little cheaper, um, but it, it can come in handy if you need to ship something in a pinch and you don't have an envelope in the house. So I'm gonna just do a very quick example. My wife will point at the freezer um, I have a Mylar bag, and I've actually started shipping our new Life Straws in a uh, standard Mylar bag. These are the 3.5 mil 10 by 14 Mylar bags. So I have my Life Straw, my Mylar bag, I have my shipping label, and I have my Snorkel Vac sealer. So this is going to be a very simple process. I put the Life Straw in the Mylar bag. I'm going to do a very quick heat seal of that Mylar bag. I'm not, not going to vacuum it, although I could, I guess, if I wanted to. Takes about five seconds. I get a nice, perfect seal. I have a perfectly closed and sealed container without any tape or anything else. And then you actually just take your shipping label, you pop it straight on, and you hand it to your mailman. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to turn it over to my wife now, and we're going to talk about a little bit about her project. Hi, I'm Tammy Truman with Discount Mylar Bags, and I'm going to show you how to make an ice pack, like a large ice pack. This is Poncho. He's our little two and a half pound Pomeranian, and when we were traveling, it got really hot in the car, and I wanted to make him a large ice pack to lay on. And we have these great Mylar bags, the Ultras. So I used that and, and put the stuff in it and froze it. And I'm going to show you how to put all that together. All right. Let me put Poncho down. All right. So here's what we do. I have my Ultra Mylar bag. This is a one gallon. I put it in a two gallon bucket so that way I can use my little buddy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take rubbing alcohol. How much rubbing alcohol are we using? One cup. I'm a little cup maker. We're going to use one cup of rubbing alcohol. Two cups of water. And here's where I went a little different than what's on some of the websites if you look it up. Some of them say that you can use Dawn dishwashing liquid, and you don't, or you don't have to. I use the Dawn because it gives it more of a gel consistency, and I just squirted it. So I would say I probably used a quarter of a cup there. All right. So it's going to look, you don't have to mix it. It's going to look like one big goofy mess in there. And then what you want to do is make sure you get enough air out of your bag because we don't want it to, to bubble up because if the dogs are walking on it, they can, uh, they can scratch it with their toenails. I'm going to take my little bucket buddy and my wool setting. And I'm going to iron that to seal it. And my husband's definitely a better sealer than I am. Because it's a liquid, I do go back and make sure that it is sealed all the way. 
last one I made wasn't sealed all the way. That's a yucky mess. All right. So when I have it, I just stick it in our great big chest freezer. And what it's going to look like is it's going to look like this. Now, Poncho doesn't really like the cold. So what I did is I found this sham at Goodwill for $1.99. These bags fit perfectly in half the sham cover. So then I just take it and fold it. And what I have is, is an example of the cooler room, it's a, which is just a gel dog bed. And it's nice because if we turn it on this side where the gel pack is, it's going to be a lot cooler. And on this side, it's not as cool, but it still cools them off. And it lasts, the small one like this lasts about two hours in a hot car. We were 100 degrees and I had it out in the hot car. And this is what it looks like. If you wanted to do, this is one in a big two gallon bag. And this one's been sitting in our freezer for about three weeks. And that's what it looks like when it's all said and done. See, you can see how it doesn't freeze solid. So they're not sitting on an ice pack. So it actually moves with them, which is really nice. And that's how you make a doggy ice pack bed. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.